Uh, welcome to Silverstone for the annual 24-hour race. Uh, they actually haven't had one here for a few years. It really is fantastic to be back here again. Uh, I've been invited to do the race in this GT4 Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Um, why are we here? Uh, two reasons really. Firstly is to really, really enjoy ourselves and have a fantastic weekend. Um, the second reason is because Andy Palmer, the new boss of Aston Martin, this is his sort of race debut and he's carrying on the great tradition of Aston Martin bosses who've actually practiced what they preach, got in a car, got out there and done it, um, which I think is fantastic. So there's me, I'm the hanger on, I'm the journo here to sort of record what goes on. Um, there's Marek Reichmann who is the design director and has been responsible for the look of all Aston Martins that are out there on the race today. And then there's the hotshot who is uh, Alice Powell, a 22 year old racing driver um, who is making us all feel thoroughly middle-aged and slow. Uh, we're about to go out and do some quality now um, and then hopefully we'll go and get a decent night's sleep and tomorrow it's time for our race faces. So this is finally it, this is the moment we've been waiting not just days but weeks and in my case months for. Um, the cars are going to the grid now, Alice is in the car. Alice, how are you doing? Yeah, good Feeling thanks. good about it, ready to go? Yeah, all yep. ready to go. Excellent. to just past dawn at Silverstone. Um, the new day broke, thank goodness, with the rain finally stopping. Um, and the track is now dry. We've had the most extraordinary night. We've all been out here. I mean, I'm meant to be the experienced one here, and I've never driven for that long in conditions that bad. Um, but the car has been perfect. We've all been out in it. Um, and the prize, if you like, is we are now P8, moving in on P7. Um, and unlike us pampered drivers who've at least managed to get our heads down for a couple of hours and that, these guys have been at it all night uh, with the results that you can uh, see before you. Anyway, it's uh, still a long way to go. Um, eight, nine hours of racing still to go. Uh, it feels like we've been here a week, but anyway, uh, let's just hope we can keep our noses clean, keep going around uh, and be there at four o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> Um, so that was the first of the daylight stints. We're now 18 hours into the race. Um, only six to go. Doesn't sound like anything, does it? Um, it is quite a bit. Uh, the stint was uh, until I found myself going backwards on somebody else's oil at 100 plus miles an hour, the exit of Beckett. So it was all going very well. Uh, luckily got away with that. Um, but you know, the car is fantastic. We're P7 at the moment, six hours to go. Um, you know, there are three Astons in the top 10. Um, everybody's had a really, really tough night, but you know, we're in one piece and I uh, hope that we have some good news in six hours time. Um, we did it. Fifth, overall, unbelievable. Um, 24 hours ago, never imagined this would be possible. Um, Andy did the last stint, about to come down the pit lane. We're all very tired, probably all a bit emotional too, but it's just been the best, best weekend. 